Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Liu Chen from CGTN Digital Team, and welcome to CGTN live broadcast from the CNCC China National Convention Center. And here, I am joined with my colleague Nadim. <laughs> Hi, Liu Chen. <laughs> it's not a big entry. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a big entrance, bad. but um, hello, everyone. And as Liu Chen said, we are at the CNN CNCC in Beijing. So what's We're happening today? A very major, big event, event. happening. Mm -hmm. This is the first day of the second Belt and Road Forum for Internet. It's the first no, day. No, the first day. It is the first day. No, first day start from tomorrow. So the That's official. the opening, but it's three days. Okay. So today, tomorrow, and the day after. after yeah. of the Belt and Road uh, Forum for International Cooperation. So as Liu Chan said, true, the big opening is going to be tomorrow, mm -hmm. but today uh, things have already started to go underway, especially with thematic forums, 12 thematic forums, as well as a CEO conference, which is the first of its kind uh, for, the uh, for the Belt and Road Forum. And so uh, this is the second edition exactly. of uh, the Belt and Road Forum. The first one took place in 2017. As well, this, this place, CNCC, was the media center and the place where the forums were held in 2017. Two years on, it's still the same place. However, this time around, it's much bigger. Exactly. Less, it, a couple of years ago, it was four, five forums. This time around, it's 12 forums. Mm -hmm and a CEO conference, which did not happen two years ago. And um, tomorrow in Huairo District mm -hmm. on the northern outskirts of Beijing, we will have national leaders, state uh, heads of state and government uh, will be meeting in Huairo for the high level meeting. And then on the third day, we will have um, the roundtable mm -hmm. summit. So one thing remained the same is we have the media center again in yes. the same place, exactly the same decoration, maybe the same color, but something has been changed. A lot of things actually. So I uh, changed. Uh, a couple of years ago, I came here and we did a live stream mm -hmm. from the media center at the China National Convention Center for the Belt and Road Forum. However, this time around when I came, looking around, I realized that while things have, uh, have been unchanged, there are a lot of other things uh -huh. that are added and that are new. And I guess that's normal because even though it's the same event, it's a different edition, a lot of things have changed. A lot of achievements China have done uh, over the, the past two, yeah. two years, exactly. whether on a national level or whether on an international level. Mm -hmm. And so they wanted to reflect that uh, within either the decoration or the settings. I mean, we're seeing um, they have two walls right there just for uh, recent Chinese uh, achievements um, in the past couple of years. So we have the Tiangong 2, which is the space. Uh, I don't know if we can get a little bit closer to it, which was uh, launched from China last year. And this is the first step of China to achieve its dream of having a space station. Um, so that was the Tiangong 2. We also have uh, the, wor uh, the FAST, which is the world's largest uh, radio telescope. And then Chang'e 4, which Chang'e 4. launched the, the moon at the back of it. And yeah. this is the first time ever over the wall. Right. And so and we have... Th that was... No, 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 no. Of course, of course. <laughs> so that was in January. And then China was the first country to actually land, soft landing, a moon on the far side. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah. To, to, to land a lunar probe on the far side of the moon uh, in January. And so China, again, that... Uh, China was the first country to do that. So, in these two, on these two walls, we have pictures of major achievements that China has um, achieved, achieved in the, in in the, the past, past few years. Few years. But that doesn't make us to do a live stream here in the media center if they only have this all, all these photo exhibitions yeah. there. So actually they have more interactive areas for us to experience and you might think oh why we have a live stream in the media center yeah it's not only a place for journalists to do writing filming and reporting but here has been changed to a multimedia interactive area where people especially for those journalists from overseas yeah. they can see the beauty of chinese culture i mean and, and it's going to be three hectic days because a lot of things are going to happen exactly. again it started today um, even though that 
the opening ceremony is going to be tomorrow, but activities started today, especially on the business side with business communities and think tanks, representatives um, meeting. Again, inside we have a matchmaking session as part of the Belt and Road CEO Conference, which is happening for the first time this uh, year. So uh, there's a lot of things that are going to be covered by journalists, and once in a while, it's good to just you know have a, have, have a break, uh, have a you break, know, a enjoy a little bit of, of 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 just looking around. And so I guess this is where these interactive. Of our journey in the media center, the China snapshot and Beijing snapshot. Okay. So basically, you don't have to go traveling outside of the building, but you can take photo at many famous Chinese um, landmarks. Yeah, landmarks. So there's a green screen, but then when okay. you yeah, when you go to the on the screen, it's it's free. It's free to take the photo, and then they will you will have the print version afterwards. So basically, it's just a photo booth. It's a photo booth. Well, With a very little bit, high tech photo yeah. booth. And do you choose whichever place you would like to take picture next to, or is it just like Set built up. in? Fixed. Oh, it's uh, fixed. So okay, we see. Okay. Oh, it's over there. Can we see? Can we see that? So what oh, we're seeing right now it looks like is. You were at night. See, this is Oku's photo. Set. This is the bird's nest. Anyone is taking it? This is the nearby bird's nest because we are around the Olympic Park right now. Uh -huh. And so uh, someone just took a picture. Oh, I guess it's the lady oh, right there. Sorry about that. <laughs> she just took a picture. And yeah. so it's the bird's nest. Even if it's in the daytime, you can take a photo as if you were at night near the building. Oh, see, you can actually choose. Yeah, you choose different um, backgrounds. Okay. Do you, do you, you want to try? take... <laughs> <laughs> I tried it yesterday. We can, take a, we, we, we can take a picture, you and I, uh, together. Okay, you can go... Okay. No, you you can we can take a collective group picture. Okay, so what do we have? Where are we going? Okay. So first step, choose a backdrop. Okay. So what do we have? This is so all the famous Chinese tourist spot. Okay. Huang Shan. Uh, in northwest, uh, northwest China. Okay. It's also a sport along the Silk Road. Okay. A stone temple. Okay. Oh, Jiu Jai Go. You heard that, right? I've heard of Jiu Jai Go. In eastern China, a very um, traditional Clo Chinese courtyard. Close to Shanghai, uh, Suzhou. Not that close, but yeah, near it. Ah, Pingyao. Pingyao Film Festival. <laughs> yeah, exactly where it happens. <laughs> ah, in Xi'an. Xi'an. Uh, oh, they have ten. Fun facts about Xi'an. It's one of the main points along the ancient Silk, Silk Road. Road. Exactly. So these backgrounds are based on the Yidai Lu. Ah, so part of them are sports along the Silk Road. Oh, this, is, this one Tibet, is Tibet. Tibet Autonomous so Region. This? Sure. Even though last year I did go to Tibet, <laughs> but sure. But this time I, you're in Beijing. The Patala Palace. I, I don't think that I've taken a picture next to it. So yeah, let's just do this. Huh? Okay, we'll choose this one. From oh, here oh, we, there we go. are. <laughs> <laughs> Six seconds. We suddenly pop out on the screen. And we have oh, our. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Why not? Okay, don't go with us. <laughs> Great. So say hello oh. from Tibet. Um, Okay. So All right. Three, two, one. Welcome to Tibet. Processing and the photo, photo is being processed. Oh, <laughs> it has a line at the bottom saying the second about the road um, forum for, for international, international cooperation. cooperation. I don't think I don't think we need to retake any photo. I mean, I, no, this I one is good enough. Yeah, that's true. So how was it? Um, I think it's I interesting. So I mean, yeah. I think it's, it's it's an interesting thing. Especially when the moment I see my person just pop out on the screen. Yeah. It's like, whoa, whoa, I'm already there. So this is good, right? Yes, yes. It's all right. I mean... Okay, we will just go on. Yes, yes. Okay. Just now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
It'll be forever in our hearts. We don't have it on paper. We don't need to have it. It it was. And plus, it's on camera already, so. (laughs) It's on camera. It's on this camera. Okay, next. So we're moving along. Uh, Shall we talk about uh, the media center? This year, over 4,000 journalists have registered to the event, and 1,000. We're two of them. (laughs) <laughs> Great. <laughs> and the 1,600 uh, reporters are from foreign, uh, foreign media outlets. So I hope all these over 1,000 um, foreign media outlets reporters could enjoy their trip, not just in China, in the event. During their busy work, they can see the beauty of Chinese culture, especially in the intangible culture and heritage in active area. So we have. So we didn't have this in, back in 2000. No, no. This, oh, at least I didn't see it. Okay. Um, but if it was there, I would have seen it. So okay. this is this is a new addition to the media center. So um, have- what we have is like four different sections where they would introduce one of the traditional arts and crafts of the Chinese culture, and so. Uh, I, I think we should go and then try to check what what's happening. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what is happening. Can we speak to someone? Hi. Ah. Yeah. So um, we're just joined by a volunteer and I think she will give us a very brief introduction of each section. Can you tell us what's happening here? Chinese painting. Okay. So yeah. Chinese paintings. Is there, is there anyone who, who is teaching techniques of doing it or is just... Or is it just people are just come here and take or paint by themselves? Oh, so someone is over there. You can try it. Do you want to try it? Um, no, I think it takes too long. It takes. How long does it take for one to finish a painting? Oh, it's up. So you can make yeah. it as intricate as you want, uh, or you can just you make ex- it as simple. <laughs> yeah. So should we talk to them to see how yeah. it goes? How do they feel like? Yeah. Hi. Uh, oh, we're doing a live stream on Facebook. We're from CGTN. Okay. Shall we do a very brief um, interview with you? Can we? Oh, okay. It's fine. Thank you. They don't speak English. Okay, do you want to speak with some of the Chinese uh, participants and then you can translate can to English? Yeah, okay. Sure. I can, I'll, I'll do that. Because she's already finished with her piece, so oh, might as well. Okay, yeah. let's talk to her. Yeah. Okay, it's not. Oh, where's the camera? Oh, it's there. Okay, so give me a chance. This is a pipa. A pipa is a fruit. Oh, okay. This is your own painting. My own painting. Why did you? Why did you choose this? 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 Why 哦、oh, ，不是媒体，我是算工作人员。哎，您是工作人员， uh, 有没有想到过会在这里看到这样子的活动？没想过。您觉得您印象中的媒体中心应该是什么样的？我觉得就是应该是那种许多记者在的那种房间里，然后大家一块交流。所以我觉得。这个活动弄得还是挺丰富的嘛，就一方面可以让就是这些外外国友人可以更好的了解中国的文化嘛，第二方面就是说给大家一个放松的机会嘛，就是让代表不要说参会，精神上就是那种娱乐放松的那种体验，我觉得特别好。Uh, uh, you have a lot of translation to do. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. She right. actually just repeat what I said. She Which is? It's really good. She is part of the CEO conference, so she is not from any media outlets, but she enjoys it very much because she thinks it's a very good opportunity for foreigners or people who are not from China to see how it is like to be here and then have a good rest. Just what we said. Just yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. just taking a little break. True. And, and then, then this one, it looks funny. We have all right. To our year. Can What's we? What's the English name of this? I rabbit? think it's Lord Rabbit. Lord Rabbit. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. Of the rabbit group. So this used to be actually people used to use them as objects of worship Mm-mm. before. Mm-mm. Right. Tour. 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 Yeah. 
Do you want to speak to... Oh, yeah, sure. Do it. Let's speak to someone. To the instructor. Maybe she can teach us a little bit about it. So any questions from the team? Yeah, of course. So how long does it take to make this figurine? It takes two hours. <laughs> two hours of just painting it or just also making the mold out of clay? Okay, two hours. Yeah, two hours. Yeah, that's a long time. I know. And can you speak? Can she speak to us about the significance of uh, the tourier? The significance. Yeah, like the, the the if she knows any stories behind it. How did it come about? Why is this so, you know, uh, close to Beijing culture specifically? Part of the culture in um, yeah. intangible cultural heritage. Yeah. And then, this is for everyone from Beijing in their childhood. Yeah. It's a very typical. It was a toy. Yeah, it's a toy about for them. Like for them. <laughs> so, uh, so because so in every autumn festival, um, the adult, um, the parents would buy one for their children. Yeah. So what's the story? What's the story? Uh, <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, so the job is to make medicine. Right. Oh. Uh, 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 no, I don't. Oh, this one is done. Let's see this. Oh, it's, it's so cute. What is it? So this is the sticker to make the medicine, Chinese medicine, to oh, match all the okay. um, ingredients. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that's why, um, uh, so the red, Lord Rabbit lives on the moon, and then his job on the moon is to make medicines. Okay. For, for human beings, we have so many diseases and disasters on the earth. That's why they just jump down to the earth and it make was, medicines for us it was, to make sure we have uh, a happy and peaceful life. According to Chinese mythology, it was the goddess of the moon, Chang'e, that who sent him down to earth to help uh-huh. us to, yeah, with the plagues. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's carry All on. Right. So it would, it would be great for them to just paint one as according to their preference, what color they would like to paint on. Right. Um, I don't think we have time to go through everything, every details in this area. Okay. I guess here it's still painting, but then here... Yeah, but in different... Can we, can we just take a quick look? Sure. Out of personal interest. They're making something of... We, Oh, very few people actually know how to make it. Okay, but that's it's interesting. Like it's using beads and stones? Uh-huh, to make flowers. Okay, so you can only make flowers with this. You okay. cannot just like make any other mold or any other type. No, yeah, it's called yuhua, like oh, small okay. flowers. Oh, okay, okay. And over there, you see, it's very busy. It's People are very busy buying something. Let's find out what they have. I think there. it's related to mailing or like perhaps stamps. stamps because I see the China Post. It's a very exclusive uh, stamp collection you can buy here. Oh, okay. 
I mean, I didn't buy one, but I think like for my mother, if she was here, she would like to buy a lot. Can we just come and like yeah, yeah, we can try show to people what is, what is like. yeah, what's happening here? Um, I think they have a sample just over can, there. Can we see we can it up it. close? We will not take it away. No. We just show them what it's like. So this is the Belden Road stamp collection. Um, no, you open it. Okay, oh, you open it from here. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm gonna help. Oh, sure. Okay, I open this. So there you are. You see different stamps. So Tonglu, the same road. See? So it shows on the stamps they have like China cultural heritage and the, the maritime Silk Road. And here? Uh, that's pretty much of it. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. There's more. See, you have... Oh, they're here. Yeah, you have more. You just need to like, flip it. You flip the page. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, there we are. Yeah, they, it, there it is. So this is the logo of Belt Road Foreign. And these are different paintings. And tourist sports. We so this mentioned. is this is a whole collection, or are these two different collections? No, this is the whole collections and Chinese achievements, different achievements. Sorry. Yeah, there we are. There we go. They wanted back so much. Of course. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. So next next part, very excited. Which Here is? I just want to show you this. Which one? A VR headset. Even though we made it the last week. Even though we made it. Um, okay, we can go here first and then. Oh, some, continue. someone is over there. We will try it later on. Okay, we'll They're try. They're playing around with it. So let's see this place, a multimedia display interactive area. Okay. And this. I think that they have two sections like this, and each one is consists of three LED screens. Okay, so we have, okay, so it's the Silk Road Economic Belt. So the Belt and Road Initiative is made of two different uh, sets. Mm -mm. So one, you have the belt, which is the Silk, Silk Road, Road Economic Belt, which is um, an overland uh, network of corridors that connect China with um, uh, the whole of Asia and then uh, Europe. And then you have the road, which is the 21st century maritime Silk Road. So that's, uh, that covers the shipping lanes um, or seaborne trade. And so these are two different uh, the, the, it's a two-pronged initiative. So you have the overland corridors and then you have the shipping lanes. One is called the belt and then the other one is the road. The road and then exactly. we have World Cultural and Natural Heritage Sites in so China. Touch it. If we touch it then. It gives a very brief introduction of each spot. You can see all these places. Okay. Weishan, this is a very famous place from my hometown in Fujian. Okay. Place. You can even read in Chinese and English. Or in English. Yeah. So I think this is a very good place for foreign journalists and to read or to know a part of China. It's like learning while oh, having wanna, fun. I just want to do the puzzle. <laughs> I was trying to do something like... Okay, it's easy. This is the Forbidden City. It's not hard because they just lay out the shape of each piece. So you just put it there. Oh, I thought it would be more challenging. No, it's just for fun. Well, fun can also be challenging. It's, it's over there. You can see. It's there. I'm like extremely so heavy handed. Oh, see, okay. It's that's, not there. It's, not, it's there. not there. <laughs> even though you were saying it's easy, but you can't even make it. No. Ah, um, so, so we have someone too. Yeah, someone just joined with us. And you should join the student Oh. So here's the stuff from the magazine. Okay. Uh, any questions about this? Can he just explain to us a little bit about this? I mean, we've. Oh, see, I'm pressing on the wrong. Okay. So. If he could just give us a brief introduction. Can you give us a brief introduction? 
嗯，这个可以，这就是一些多媒体展示，用于展示一些咱们丝绸之路，还有丝绸之路一些沿路上的各种文化、嗯、历史。Grape, why grape? I'm guessing grapes is because it was one of the commodities that was transported along the Silk Road. Oh wow, I didn't know that. There are some old ships. 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 所有的中国历史文化都会有，中国一些有名的地方，比如四面山庄都会有。承德。有介绍。So maybe for us who live in Beijing, these are something we see very often because it's just near the town. We can just go where whenever we want. But for those who travel into Beijing and attend this. Meeting, it'll be yeah. really interesting and new for them to I mean, read about it. That, I think it's interesting because even though this is a very modern initiative that China has put forward, it has its roots back in history because the the overland corridor or even the shipping lanes are inspired by the ancient road of the ancient Silk Road, right? And so uh, it's really hard not to think about history. When you're thinking about the Belt and Road Initiative, because even though it was first put forward in 2013, but its roots, its its background is way back in time, 2,500 years ago. Exactly. God knows how many millennia ago. And so this is why I think, and this is a lot of people don't know about the Belt and Road that it goes way back in time than we think. It was the Silk Road, yes, and then China sort of. Developed that idea into what is known today as the Belt yeah, and the Road,、exactly. and so it's always good to like learn a little bit of history when we're covering these things. Because usually, when you're coming here, you're looking at what uh, uh, national leaders are going to say,、uh, what is China's official、um, uh, point of view from the Belt and Road, also what's happening on, in these forums. You want to interview、uh, think tank representatives and、uh -huh, so on and、yeah. so forth, but then. There's also this exactly,、today. and so it's always good to be able to to read about that, even though that you know you might not include that in your reporting,、True. but it's always good to understand the background of it. Yeah, because like now people think. Oh, China is dominating the world, but it's not true. We're just developing the, the idea from the Silk Road,、yeah. and by that time, China is open to the world to cooperate with them, doing business with them along the Silk Road.、Yeah. So it's pretty much the same now. We're doing like economic cooperation with the countries along the Silk Road. But it's also not just economic cooperation. So yes, it's always about trade. It's always about business. It's always about capital. But it's also about people-to-people -people exchanges. It's also about understanding each. Others' culture,、mm -hmm. living in harmony,、yeah. and these are like the the ideas that China is trying to put forward along with the Belt and Road Initiative. So even though that perhaps at the beginning people thought it was just about infrastructure, it's about trade. It's in general, and this is something like when someone asks, "How would I personally define what is the Belt and Road?" A lot of people say it's a mega. Project for infrastructure. I think exactly. I, That's what I thought at the beginning. I thought I think it's just connectivity.、Mm. So whether it's human connectivity, whether it's connect connecting people through、uh, ideas,、uh, through businesses, whatever it is, it's just connectivity. And I think this is this is how I my my BRI my own definition of the BRI I think is it, it,、yeah. is is that it is just making the world interconnected, no matter how it is, whether it's by facilitating tourism, whether it's Uh, you know, uh, uh, building bridges, whether it's、uh, having projects in、uh, in other countries, etc. In different ways for the same core idea. Exactly, which is connecting.、People. Yeah.、True. Okay.、Um, so historical lessons and, philo <laughs> and philosophical <laughs> okay, discussion aside, we we're moving on. <laughs> we just talked too much about the history. And I, but I、oh, think I think、good. we I should. Think we should if, go into it. I remember that my mom would say,、uh -huh. "If you don't know your history, you would not know your future, and、That's、you would、true. not know your present." And so I think one should know their history so they can know how to better deal with their present and then build up for a future. Exactly. And so, so moving on. Time to have fun. Speaking about future, five G, <laughs> just in time. Exactly. Okay, let's start from.
from the headset. Okay. You know, we tried this last week in the right. uh, International Film Festival. That was a completely different thing. And this time, the headset will take us to the conference room. Oh, wow. He's like, don't use it. This is just for show. <laughs> so once we take on. Okay, so headset, what are we seeing? Oh, okay. Here I am at the media center in the room. You are in the media center. You I don't mean, need a VR headset. The, <laughs> but another separate room. Okay. I'm over there and I can see every single details of the room. Like what clothes people are wearing, what they're doing, they're operating the computer. It feels like I'm right in the room over there. It's a different have, room? It's You're a being transported room. to I, a different I, room? Exactly. I've been shipped to another place. <laughs> okay. So pretty much the same, like as much as you know about VR headset. Okay. And so let's try this. This is the first time I see. Okay. Anyhow. I don't know we can whether we can try it. I mean, maybe he can explain it to us. Okay. So the pad and the machine has been connected with this 5G signal. Okay. So once you have your signature here, it will write down on the paper so it's by the robot. So it's a good way to forge. <laughs> to forge documents. Try it. Okay, Try should it. I... It, it, does it support any language? Any, any language, or an, anything you write down. Okay, might pad. as well just write my name in Arabic. No, you're writing in Arabic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it does. It doesn't matter, whatever you say. Okay, it's so basically it language. is repeating exactly the movement of my hand. So exactly. even... Exactly. I follow your... And this is how I write in Arabic. This is... <laughs> as bad as that. My teacher would... It's exactly like that. My teacher would not be happy. <laughs> I... Is it bad yeah. writing? It's terrible writing. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm sorry about yeah. that. Well, it tries that. So this is a 5G signal. No, you don't really want that, do you? <laughs> no, this is for you. This is my gift for you. I'm oh, asking wow. you if you can keep this paper. I will keep it. And it's your uh, sign. I mean, at least now I can say that this is not my handwriting. <laughs> it's some machine's handwriting, and I'm off but the, the hook. the machine just know what you think <laughs> as you write it down. All right. So there we are. Moving on. Should we talk to them, our colleague? What's happened this morning? How was the CEO <laughs> conference? Okay, there we are. Here we are at the gate of the media, okay. the real media center. So this is where the magic happens. So here it was just, you know, an introduction to everything that... <laughs> and it's like, think of it as like when you're sitting for the dine on the dining table, you have the appetizers uh -huh. and then you have the main yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. So that's so the main course right the in. the time for the main course. Yeah. Let's go in there. So... Um, Basically, it's one I big office. Before for I here, I just knew that the latest technology has been applied in the media center. What does that mean? What well, latest you technology? You have Wi-Fi, you have all the computers here, and they have over 500 seats. 400 what? 400 seats. 400 seats. Oh, 500 seats. 500 so seats. If you go there, you can see people Maybe should count them around. one by one. Oh, no, I won't do that. <laughs> Maybe not. And I heard the center will be open from tomorrow tomorrow from 6 o'clock okay. to 27, 10 o'clock at night. And it will be operating 41 hours without stop. Oh, wow. Stop. Okay. It's for anyone, anytime to come here to work. I mean, it sounds terrible, but it's a very great so, support. So basically, what, what you're saying is starting tomorrow at 6 a.m., uh -huh. exactly. the center is going to be open, open. nonstop until the end of, of the forum. Office. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right. All right. Great support. To our colleagues. Yeah. And and I guess you need that. I remember two years back, uh -huh. it was like going inside whenever I would finish a forum and then just like going at it on the keyboard trying to like finish mm -hmm. the whatever article that I was writing as soon as possible and just send it out. And I think that you do need, instead of like you going back to your office um, or just go back to your hotel room, I think it's, it's good that you can just sit down, yeah. get your work done here and then walk out and then just not worry about the workload. <laughs> Even that's though good. that for the next couple of days you have to worry about everything that's going to happen here because it's a decisive moment. True. So you just 
attend the meeting next door and come here, write down what you think, right. what you have. Uh, a bookstore, again, like, because I remember back to CIE, we had a bookstore in the media center as well, and the, it's free for everyone to collect what they want. Right. So here we have President Xi Jinping's book, and it's in different, different language. languages. So you have in Arabic here, and you have English. the original one in Chinese. I think I remember it has Russian edition, and this is in French. No, that's not in oh, French. No, French? I'm no sorry. this is in French. Oh, <laughs> la gouvernance de la Chine. Oh. So this. The is showing off. Well, true. I mean, you, you gave me, <laughs> you you gave me an excuse. Um, oh. But yeah, so we have President oh, okay. Xi's book, but at the same time we have. Uh, traveling in Beijing. Yes. So delicious Beijing. So here we have delicacies in Beijing. If you want to learn more about the cuisine of Beijing. So this is a book that would, so we have, for example, Muslim cuisine. We have vegetarian dishes. Ah, there you go. That's good for you. That works to you. And see, they give you recommendations as well. Yeah. Um, eight great cuisines, the Shandong cuisine, the Sichuan cuisine, uh, super hot, super peppery. Um, so very great to be here, right? Jiangsu cuisine. I mean, uh, I guess, See, I mean, this is not only useful for these couple of days for people who are even coming to Beijing, even for those here. who are living here as well. Exactly. <laughs> so and I know what I'm going to take with me. To collect. Oh, also traveling in Beijing. So you also have not just. I need more hands. <laughs> you need the third can, one. Can you help? Sure, <laughs> definitely. So what do we have here? Beijing culture. Beijing history. Shi Jia Hutong, for example, I've never been in this one. Shi Jia Hutong. Ah, we did a report over there. We before. did, yeah. did we? No, I didn't do it with oh. you, but I mean, I. I was like, where was I? <laughs> so, so yeah, it's, it's, it's to just learn a little bit more about Beijing, whether it's, you know, from the kitchen or from, uh, you know, from the city itself. And, and I think this is an exclusive postcard only for the Bell and Road Forum. And this is like different than the collection of the collection of stamps outside. Yeah, it's different, it's different, it's postcards. And I think it's done by artists, illustrated by artists from overseas, like from different points of view. What do they see in Beijing? And apparently, them in different ways. Apparently it's 10 artists from seven foreign countries. So it's Beijing in the eyes of foreign artists. Exactly. It's not locals. Can you, rec can you recognize any of these spots? I know this Baita, a white tower, and I think this is a part of Wu Tong. Yeah. Everyone knows. It's the door. Uh, yeah, at the door, like very traditional um, constructions in Beijing. So the Wu Tongs are, are traditional narrow alleyways that are very specific to Beijing. You can't find them anywhere else in uh, China, and they've and mostly kept their traditional the yeah. character. So interesting. This is interesting. Oh, is this? this is Beijing hot pot. Can I see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love that, especially in the winter. And what else do we have? This. Another portrait. You don't know who she is. Do I? I like... don't know. No, me either. Oh, this is the tea ha Oh, okay. See. What it says. I mean, if only we were a little bit smarter. Apparently. <laughs> <And the laughs> so behind. Was written, was written exactly. So, so on the back of every painting, uh -huh. you would have. What it what it says, it, it so says you would have what? like what it means. So uh -huh. here we have tea house and hutong. Oh, okay. Here we have the white pagoda, Beihai Park. Here we have people playing cards, and then you have the name of the artist. So this artist is from, from Italy. Italy. So that's a nice souvenir, actually. You will take this one. Is, oh, I'll take more. <laughs> no, actually, I will not. This one. World this Silk Road. About the World Silk Road future. I think it's a photo collection. And this is, for example, uh, a project in Africa, the Mombasa Nairobi Railway. It's a bilingual. It's about the project under the yeah. BRI framework. So if you want to know more details about the One Belt, One Road initiatives and what has been achieved in the past few years, 
come here and read these books. It's free to take take it home. No, actually, you can't come. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, great to show it to them. Any any accredited journalists watching us can come to this site. <laughs> oh, they'll be so jealous. They take me for take one for me. No, but I'll tell you something. I think it's these. Books like these are really interesting and very educational because there's so many projects happening right now under the BRI uh, framework, and you have so many countries True. that have already signed uh, agreements with China, and then you have a lot of international organizations as well joining this initiative. And it's really hard for someone to keep tabs on that. I think it's books like these would give you just an insight as to what exactly is happening. What, as you said, what's already been done. And I think that in the next three days,、uh, we will be hearing a lot of about what has done has been done either in Asia, in South Pacific, in Africa, in Europe, and a lot of other places. And I think that the numbers、uh, speak for themselves since the 2000、uh, since 2017, and even way before since 2013.、Uh, the numbers that are sort of trickling out.、Um, Either from Chinese authorities or from、uh, international think tanks and organizations, speak for themselves about the Belt and Road、uh, Initiative.、Right. And as far as I know, this year more world leaders are attending the forum start tomorrow. Shall we have a? Shall we move a little bit? Move a little bit. Just leave the bookstore. So many people are gathering there collecting books. So as far as I know,、um, the Secretary General of the UN will be attending the forum tomorrow, and uh, um, the Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund. I am F. Christine Lagarde. Exactly, he is coming as well. <coughs> and I think over 37、um, the head of states and governments are attending the meeting tomorrow. Right. So the number has been. Increased so much、yeah. in in the past two years.、Right. More people and more countries have been signed agreements with China to to cooperate under the Belt and Road Initiative. Right. So、um, I guess as well, even the number of countries participating this year, because last year, a couple of years back, it was one thousand and six hundred, one thousand seven hundred delegates.、Mm-hmm. You said earlier that it's five thousand delegates. Exactly.、Uh, this year, this year, five thousand participants. So it's getting bigger,、forum. and actually, it's longer. So,、uh, the first edition of the Belt and Road Forum was two days. It was in May, fourteen, fifteen. Uh huh.、Um, uh-huh. But this year, it has it, three days. Actually, yeah, it's、mm-hmm. three days. So, uh, uh, it's twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So, so yeah, it's it's not only getting bigger, but also to accommodate a lot of activities, they're just extended it by one day. So finally, we got to our last destination in the building. This is the media center. I don't think we should talk very loudly. No. But. And so I guess this is where people who are going on television would go up on the podiums, and then if you don't have any live broadcast or any broadcast whatsoever, you'll just be able to find a place for you. Where you can just sit down and then get your work done. They've provided computers. They've provided electric sockets where you just sit down. And the thing is, you said how many journalists are going to be here? Four thousand. Four thousand. At least four thousand registered.、This、four thousand. I read. Four thousand registered、uh-huh. journalists. And one thousand six hundred. Yet you cannot hear a lot of voice. Yeah,、I'll、you don't. Yeah, so it's it's、Such、sort of peaceful.、Original. Enough support from the media center. Okay. Great. Hi, you know. Hello. 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 We're、uh, from CGTN. Okay,、uh, I have been here. The、uh, it's the second time I have been here. Oh, the, so you were here in, back in 2017. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, he he was as well. Yeah. You、um, didn't see each other.、Um, uh, we didn't cousins. <laughs> we normally don't see each other. <laughs> Every one of us is doing their own thing. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, carry on. Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, this year, definitely, I think technology play、uh, is very、uh, eye-catching this、yeah. year because、ah. you see the 5G. 
and I, I see the lock there because they use the face recognition and you can use oh, the Oh, it works so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think we don't have this kind of technology last, no. uh, last year forum. Yeah. Uh, and also, I think um, uh, this year we have more live podcast uh, due to this kind of technology. Mm. And people talk a lot about technology this year, AI and uh, digital, uh, some digital technologies yeah. and um, um, how to use that, how to use that for uh, for Belt and Road Initiative. I think it's just a, a, a in this afternoon, they have the Silk Road, uh, Digital Silk Road Forum. Yeah. And I just heard that many of uh, delegates, they, they attend this forum. They talk a lot about these issues. I think that's definitely is going to be our, our how to say that, uh, a very important topic and very popular topic this year. Can I ask you, so today is the first of three days, but the action is not going to happen until tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. So today we have the CEO conference, you have mm, yeah. uh, uh, thematic forums happening. What exactly are you going to focus on in your coverage of the Belt and Road Forum for this year? Yeah, I think uh, there are going to be a lot of, because China was after the, uh, how to say that, the Shi Jiu Da. The 19th, the 19th, yeah, 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 yeah. 19th. The 19th, 19th People's Congress. Yeah, People's Congress, yeah, last people year. Com yeah. Conference year, and they bring out a lot of ideas, and especially focus on the economic economy part. Yeah. And China also says we have to, we not just emphasize the GDP. We want to have the high quality economy. Right. And uh, this year, uh, when we talk about the Road Initiative, we also said that we have to do a lot of work, focus on that. We want to sh not only share China's uh, development about. Uh, uh, digital skills or infrastructure, many infrastructure yeah. uh, we want to do a lot of stuff maybe about uh, the uh, not about uh, how to make it more open mm -hmm. make open uh, we have to uh, e when you're investing over ab abroad you want to make it more open more transparent yes. and you want to do a lot of innovative actions about how to uh, work on working with different countries, different uh, different uh, governments, and different yeah. people. And I think that's what China trying to do, to do more communications, to be more open mind. And that's I think is what I expected. What is going to release tomorrow when we have the forum open? Yeah. Yeah, I think she just mentioned what you said. Yeah. You're saying about apart from infrastructures and the business communication, we're trying to connect in people in different ways, yeah. in different yeah. aspects. Yeah. So communication and for humans, apart from just like infrastructures yeah. and very basic like business and trade. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank I you. like your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> we need to All talk right. to her. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. And so for those who might not be able to perhaps go into these forums, I'm guessing that we have a live feed uh, happening. And so people can just keep up to date with what is happening. We also have, you know, a little bit of like announcements, you know, like when you go to an airport and then they have the board where like, you know, exactly what time your flight is going to uh, depart. I think mm. this is exactly like these are reminders of what's happening uh, as sort of activities in the next, days, in the yeah. next when we're and who will be attending this um, yeah. forums or meetings or news conference right so yeah this is what we have from the media center today I hope you enjoy our ship in the building even though we just went around in the building but we have so much fun and it's just so much like so many technologies or culture stuff here. there's there's much more than just journalists sitting down trying to write their articles it's or editing different. their videos True. it's it's there's much more than meets the eye or what exactly. anyone would expect from True. a media center exactly so i was amazed yesterday when i you know a day before yesterday when i did scouting here i was yeah. like oh we definitely should do a live stream here in the media center i have so much to show you guys because i see the difference and i'm so excited to see them yeah. experience them and um, can't wait to see the forum kicks off tomorrow right and we will deliver you the latest information either from here or from Huairo which is in the far north of Beijing right so stay tuned with us and um, if you want to learn more about the Belt and Road 
Forum for International Cooperation, please head to our website, cgtn.com, or uh, check our social media accounts on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and um, Weibo, WeChat, also CGTN app available on uh, Apple Store and on Android phones. So, you know, just download one of our <laughs> one of our platforms and then keep up to date with what's happening in China as well as the world and more specifically for the upcoming few days the Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation i think with this we come to the end of exactly. this live stream thank you for watching and we'll see you soon bye bye